Hello friends. In this video, we will create NFS server and remotely access files from client's PC. The network file system is a mechanism for storing files on a network. It is a distributed file system that allows users to access files and directories located on remote computers and treat those files and directories as if they were local. For example, users can use operating system commands to manage remote files and directories. In this video, we will cover NFS mounts on Ubuntu server. Now open terminal on server, type this command to see IP address. Note down IP address of both server and client. This is IP address of client. Note the commands I type, or you can type simultaneously on your computer. This command updates computer's repository. Enter your password, and now our package list has been updated. On server, you will have to install NFS kernel server package. Enter this command and package will be installed. We are going to access home and NFS directories from client's PC. Home directory already exist, so go ahead and type this commands to create NFS directory. We must give the user ownership to a user on our system named nobody and group no group. Now we can dive into the NFS configuration file, to set up the sharing of these resources. Open exports file using, root privileges. We want to create a line for each of the directories that we wish to share. Type these commands. I have given link in the description, which contains all the terminal commands, that are used in this video. Save this file. Next, you should create the NFS table that holds the exports of your shares by typing this command. However, the NFS service is not actually running yet. You can start it by typing this command. Our NFS survey has started. Now we will configure client. We are going to have to mount the remote shares so let's create some mount points. We'll use the traditional MNT as a starting point, and create directories. The actual directories will correspond, with their location on their, host server. We can create each directory, by typing these commands. Now, we have some place to put our remote shares, we can mount them by addressing our host server. These should mount the shares from our host computer onto our client machine. Type this command. At bottom you can see our shares. You can test the access to your shares, by writing something to your shares. You can write a test file, to one of your shares like this. You can see, our test file has been created. To make our remote NFS shares automatic, open this file with root privileges. And follow me. Save this file. The options that we are specifying here can be found in the man page that describes NFS mounting. You can also access files of remote server from the mounting points by going to the MNT directory.
These are the files and directories of the server. If you no longer want the remote directory to be mounted on your system, you can unmount it easily by typing these commands. Now we can't see remote directories on client system. On server you can see the changes made into server's directories from client's system. This is the simple way to configure an FS server and client to share files and directories. If you liked this video, then please like and subscribe my channel.